Hey, you ready for another story? All right, let's get it started. Laugh and clap. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go with Miss Mo. Two more. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go with Miss Mo. Last time. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go with Miss Mo. Shh. Now, I have a special story for you today. It's one that I really hope you'll like because it's one that I really like. And it's about a man. His name was Francis Scott Key. Now, Francis Scott Key lived in America many years ago during the War of 1812. Now, we don't talk a lot about the War of 1812. When we talk about when we fight with England, it's usually the big Revolutionary War. But shortly after we became a free country, we had another war with England. This one didn't last as long. But in the War of 1812, the British Navy was attacking our coast, New York and Boston. But the city they were really after was a city in Maryland named Baltimore. And it was being protected by a fort, Fort McHenry. Now, forts, as you can imagine, were small, but they had big, thick walls, and right in the middle of the fort was a big pole, and on that pole was a flag, a flag with stars and stripes, our American flag. Now, Francis Scott Key was a lawyer, and he had a good friend who had been taken prisoner by the British and put on one of their ships off the coast of Baltimore. Well, Francis Scott Key wanted to help his friend, so he went out to the ship to negotiate or to talk with the British sailors to get his friend free. Well, he figured it out, and they said his friend and he could go free, but not until the following day. Because that night, they were launching one big final attack on Fort McHenry. Because if they could break Fort McHenry down, then that would clear their path to Baltimore, which could possibly win the war for the British. Well, of course, as you can imagine, all the Americans on that ship were very worried. Just try to imagine being in a war and being captive held prisoner by the enemy and looking and watching them fight your friends and your family. And Francis Scott Key was scared. He knew what this battle meant, and he knew how important it was that Fort McHenry stay strong. And so he stayed up, and he watched as they prepped the cannons, and they loaded their muskets, and they got everything ready for the big attack. And as he looked, as the sun was beginning to set, he saw a beautiful sight. He saw our flag, the American flag with its bright red and white stripes and its blue square with a sprinkling of white stars. And he was so excited and happy to see that flag. And he thought to himself, if that flag, if that flag can make it through the night, then maybe Fort McHenry will make it. And then maybe America can make it. And so he decided that in the next morning, that's what he would look for. He'd wake up and he'd look for that flag. And if the flag had fallen, then that meant the fort was lost. But if the flag was still there, that meant that America had held on. And so he watched the sun set and he watched the flag flying and he heard them preparing the cannons and their guns and everything getting ready. And then the sun set and the battle began. And they threw everything they had at Fort McHenry. Big, big cannonballs and firing and the sky lit up with rockets and light and smoke as they tried to break down the walls and destroy Fort McHenry. All night long, the cannons fired and the guns fired and Francis Scott Key and his fellow Americans tried to stay awake and tried to listen as they imagined their friends fighting waiting, hoping, while well, they went to sleep at last. And then it stopped, and all was quiet. And they woke up, and I would imagine were a little bit scared to go up to the deck to see what had happened. But they went, and they looked, and it was foggy and smoky, and they wished they could have pushed the fog out of the way and seen, but finally the air cleared and they looked across the ocean to where Fort McHenry was. And then they saw it. They saw the flag and it was tattered and it was torn and it had holes through it. And maybe the pole wasn't as straight as it had been the night before, but it was there. 
all through the night, that American flag stood because the American soldiers held it up and fought. Well, Francis Scott Key was so excited and so happy because he knew that meant they were alive. That meant Fort McHenry still stood and the Americans were safe. And he was so excited, he grabbed a piece of paper and he started writing. And he wrote a poem, a beautiful poem, about what he had seen and experienced and felt for America. And then he passed copies of the poem around to his friends. And one of his friends thought it was so beautiful, he wanted to make it a song. And so he put music to it. And I bet it's a song that you've heard before. The song that he wrote sounds like this. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. So, had you heard that song before? <laughs> we sing it all the time, don't we? That became our national anthem. That means we sing it at football games and baseball games and soccer games and before church sometimes and or before other sporting events or big plays or any big gatherings. We sing that beautiful song. And we don't sing it because America is perfect. We aren't. America has made a lot of mistakes. And that flag wasn't perfect. When Francis Scott Key wrote that poem, that flag was barely hanging on. It was tattered and torn and leaning, but it stood. And I think that's sort of like America. We make a lot of mistakes. We've made them, we're making them, and we will make them in the future. But we keep trying. That's what America has always done. We just keep trying. We get knocked down, and then we stand up, and then we make more mistakes, and then we try again, and then we learn, and then we grow. But just like that flag that lasted through the night, America can last through the night, especially if people like you keep trying, keep believing, keep learning, keep serving, keep loving, keep helping, and keep flying. Thanks for listening today. And I hope just like our American flag, you never, ever give up. All right. Miss Mo, Miss Mo, Miss Mo has got to go. Two more, Miss Mo, Miss Mo, Miss Mo has got to go. Last time, Miss Mo, Miss Mo, Miss Mo has got to go. Bye!